Well, it was a bizarre scene, a man directing traffic along Central, but it's what he did next that has a family frightened and looking for justice. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live at Coors and Central with that story. Rebecca. Yeah, Dean, this is where it all happened yesterday, and the family says when they swerved to avoid the man, he chucked a knife into their minivan full of children. And it happened so fast. Construction presents many obstacles for drivers at Coors and Central. But last night, an Albuquerque family had to deal with a different kind of roadblock. Well, there was a guy directing traffic, telling cars which way they could go if they could go up Central. This woman, who wants to remain anonymous, says her husband drove around him. He ran towards our car with a knife, trying to stab my husband. She says he stepped on the gas, trying to get away three of their six young kids in the back seat of their minivan. He stabbed straight through the back window where the kids were sitting. Glass everywhere. Here's their car right after the attack and the knife she says he threw at them. They were all crying. The babies were screaming. They were in shock. The mom says the baby has this cut on her head and another child was cut as well. That's what makes it overwhelming. Just the kids were in there and they were traumatized actually. She says they're now living in fear. All my kids slept in one room last night. They didn't want they all wanted to sleep in my room. Albuquerque police arrested John Lucetto. He appeared in court today. He was also flagged for new violent criminal activity. The mom also appeared in court today. She showed the judge the cut on the little girl's head. I don't think she should be out. A sentiment the judge agreed with. No bond hold on Mr. Lucero. And a decision that makes this worried mom thankful. It was a very scary situation and I just, like I said, I thank God all my kids were safe. Now, Lucero faces a slew of charges, including aggravated battery and assault, as well as possession of meth and assault on a peace officer. Dean, back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Lucero does have a lengthy criminal record out of New Mexico and Texas, including 11 bench warrants for failing to appear.